What's good? We back. Welcome. Another episode of Smoke Cask and Barrel. I'm Daryl. I'm Randy. I'm Austin. Man, yeah. you didn't sound, <laughs> you didn't sound no way <laughs> enthusiastic about who you are, where right. you are. Right. Yeah. Me? Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to be enthusiastic. I can just be me. That's it. That's the beauty of it, you know. So, we here. Uh, we're going to get right into it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all been complaining about our videos being long and stuff. We will be trying to give y'all some good information. No, nah, real talk though. We're going to uh, just get into it. Uh, we're in 22. Uh, and uh, 21 yielded a lot of uh, unique cigars. Uh, yielded a lot of good bourbons. Everything was not necessarily the greatest. Some things were good. So if you go across all the internets and the whole internet and all that other good stuff like that, you'll see that a lot of time there's a lot of lists out there. I think it's a more you know there's some more particular magazines or brands that everybody kind of lends their yep. <laughs> their list to. The brands and all, you know, and then you got the ones from the YouTubers and whatnot. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. So you get there, some everybody YouTube. promoting their own favorite somehow some way it's a marketing point mm-hmm. that's all and that's why i was going to say it ends up being a marketing thing um we don't get paid for our bottles um bottles that we have i would say we you know be it however we got them secondary retail whatever the case is these are things procured our own money mm-hmm. so our cigars the same way so we're going to uh kind of give you what we for us what was our big bottle of the year Talk a little bit about that. We're gonna talk about our favorite cigar of the year. We already got the cigars going, and we'll just have the conversation around that. So I talked about, you know, other lists and stuff, and I mean, some of it is automatic. You can kind of see that a lot of marketing dollars is paid <laughs> to have that ranking because some of the names, especially when it comes to cigars, I don't. I mean, I don't know every cigar smoker, but I think I've been around. Yeah, I've been around quite a few. Some of those names people ain't asking for. <laughs> Some of them, some of them names still sitting in humidors, so right? Full I mean, boxes. Not just that, but also like you know, not, not only is it just the name itself, but sometimes it's that particular cigar, or it's not something that the, the, the masses are right. It's, yeah. It's, it's a, it's a nice cigar. So before we get into the cigars, I'm, uh, I mean, get into the favorites or whatever. What has been, I guess, really for y'all, what you've been seeing? Uh, kind of trend wise as far as what people been smoking and things like that when the cigars thing. I'm gonna let them talk. I'll be right back. Uh, I, you can go because what I've been seeing is a lot of people smoking sweet cigars lately. I mean, sweet yeah, I mean, and the, All the yeah. Deadwood cigars are popular. Exactly. Off in a way that it, it's been incredible. I mean, a lot, a lot of places can't get the stock. I think the one that probably the brand that has done be- better than any cigar this year has been Pacenza. Yeah. Yeah, Pacenza. Yeah, 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 definitely. They've done great. I mean, and that's one of my favorites, so I I can identify. But I mean, before this last year, maybe the year before, they really don't talk weren't about popular. That no, way. no, they, they no. Weren't it's popular. like yeah. You saw, you saw it yeah. everywhere this year. It's like twenty one. Uh, it, it came. They, I mean, twenty one. They really like just kind of took over. It seemed like. I mean, a lot of. I mean, but honestly, we promoted that mug a whole lot. We did, and like I said stuff. I would say that because I mean, yeah, locally a lot of stores, our brick and mortars weren't carrying them. Right, and we would ask for them when we went yeah. in. Yeah. Or we'd have one and hand it to somebody. I mean, so yeah. Across, across the country, I, mean, I went to probably I mean, Starbucks, probably thirty places here. So I've been a lot of. Them. Okay, it's popping off. And I mean, it's a very well-made cigar. All Nick and Wagner, we love them. The consistency is always there. I was say, I haven't had a bad one. I never had a bad one at Brink. But I know we got some different cigars, kind of like their cigar of the year. So who want to go first? Well, uh, before you start, I'm going to get the cigar of the year. What went into you deciding which cigar? Oh, I, I guess I do need to talk about that, don't I? So I... I me, you know, for me, when I think cigar of the year, I'm always thinking number one, price. Um, just because you pay a lot of money for something doesn't necessarily make it good, but mm-hmm. price figures into that. Um, construction, uh, one of my popular brands that I, I like smoking a lot from them. I had issues with tunneling with that one particular one, mm-hmm. uh, they just constantly tunnel. So, I hate cigars that don't like that tunnel. And you know, you just can't, you know what I mean? Right. Like you just can't light it and enjoy it. So, for you, was it something like you revisited more often, or was it like, hey, this stood out? This was the one that was great. The one I got from mine, it stood out because it was it was very, very good to me. Um, 
I've revisited it a few times. But I know, like I said, I put it against because I smoked a lot of other stuff. Like I said, I never had a bad placentia. My cigar right. is not placentia, oddly enough. Right. Um, not saying that they're bad because I, I love them. But it, mine just came down to the whole experience. Price right. point um, and getting everything out. You know, I feel like you should get a cigar. Complexity, flavor, construction, all that and everything. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of the same way. I went, you know, kind of the same thing where you're looking at it. Okay. I enjoy smoking and, you know, I can do it more and more every night. I can, you know, I also want something I can revisit because I had some, you know, some special stuff that, you know, you get from, like, cigar clubs or yeah. whatnot and, you know, some, or just the stuff that just comes out once a year. It's great stuff, but, you know, you, you'll get two or three of those and not end up needing it until next September. So yeah. Like, that can't be my cigar of the year. Like, my cigar of the year is something I want all year. And I think that you, that's a big point, though, because, I mean, these lists putting Cuban cigars up, I'm sorry, y'all bogus for that. <laughs> and I say that because of this. Not saying Cuban cigars, some of them are not good, there's some good ones out there, whatever the case is. But that's a big, that is a big point to figure into that. Is it something I can get to? Is it something really available? If I'm going to, you know, I understand, like you said, the limited stuff, and that's great, and there's some good ones with that. Mm -hmm. But that's a big point. Can I get to it again? Is it something I can go get a box of easily, or whatever the case is like that, and, you know, share it with my people, whatever the case is. So I think that kind of figures. I, I, some of the lists, man, I just start seeing they put a lot of those cigars up like that, like number one in the world. And you know what you're doing, right? And it just makes it where, as a cigar smoker, they don't get a chance to really experience that or get their hands on it. So I don't think we got no Cubans in there. Nobody picking no, Cubans no. there. Okay. So, so for me, I don't have a cigar of the year. I don't have a bourbon of the year because it was way too hard to figure out. I mean, I've sampled so much that it's like, so for me, it was everything that I revisited several times during the course of the year. And Randy owns a lot of what he's talking about because that was one of the big things for us. These are bottles that we own. Uh, when it came to the bottles of 21 and everything like that, these are bottles that we own. Um, <clears throat> been able to sample a lot of stuff, but I mean, right. this is stuff that we actually yeah. own. Yeah. So, so I mean, you're getting an opinion from someone who actually owns this and spends time with it. You know what I mean? Right. So, right. It right. wasn't a one-off or anything like that. It was let me go grab this bottle again and drink something yeah. out of right. it. Right. So, and, yeah. and that's important too, not just on, on the aspect that you just want to revisit, but also having something one time can really sway. Oh, no, yeah, most definitely. Absolutely. Most definitely. You know, most I, definitely. I, I mean, I remember getting, you know, when I first got the cigars, I went to the bottle I, that I had had a cigar bar, and I thought I would love it. Whatever I ate or whatever I smoked, whatever else, pair with it well. I can't stand that bottle. I can't give that bottle away. <laughs> right. But I thought, and I thought it was the most amazing thing the first time I had it. Yeah, the first time I had it, I'm like, oh my God, this is great stuff. And now I'm like, I don't have this bottle. Yeah, exactly. I, I understand because so like, I've been that down that, that road several times. That small, simple size can be, a, can be a great thing. And then also you get these single barrels and everything else. So yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. So, cigar-wise, we talked about Placencia. We talked about a lot of names. Of course, uh, Drew Estate, they had a lot of good stuff come out in 21. Kind of took over as well in their parts of the market. Mm -hmm. um, Jack Daniels is big. <clears throat> uh, we also had some other stuff that kind of went with what we had going on. So, a lot of the other bottles and everything we had going. Uh, I, mean, I mean, cigars. What are some other names? I know, like I said, Drew Estate, Avo had some big releases. I think it had some good releases Alec this year. Bradley. Alec, Alec Bradley did well at 21. Toast, some of those did well. Yeah. Some of the new stuff released this year did really well. Yeah, and I, I, that was, yeah, I smoked a couple. <laughs> I bought a couple of Cohiba Spectras. And, right. yeah, those were $130, $130 a stick. Then you also had some controversy in the last year. I mean, our clothes, you know, it had it. Had yeah. It had it. Yeah. yeah. But they still have great releases out there. So they do. And I know people shine away you know, from it. It's crazy though, because I used to be a Gurkha fan. Right. Up until about a year or two ago, I've kind of swayed, especially when they changed the ghost, because the ghost was one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And now it does not taste nearly the way it used to. So. I used to smoke the Beast in the uh, uh Titan a lot. The right. old the first release of that when they first came out. Right. I've never been a big, big fan of it, but I got, I got a lot of friends who love it. So you know, it's one of those yeah. things. And for the record, Kaiser Hidden Store is not with them anymore. He got removed and all that other stuff. Company got bought. So I know people of color, black folk, 
still so have that. Still have that problem with that <laughs> yeah. name. And I say it like this: you can't tell somebody what to smoke and how to smoke when they spend their money for it. So what they choose to do is at that point. Um, and trust me, it ain't contributing to no cause culturally <laughs> for it's because somebody smoked a certain cigar. So that's just my opinion. But you know, take it as you deal with it. Yeah, make your own decision with that. So what? what which so like this is interesting because like Randy said, he didn't have that show. You he went with stuff that he likes to right. constantly revisit. So, so I went you with the Macanoodle. Okay. The Inspirado. It's the black, and I mean it's been a consistent everyday smoke when I grab it. You know what I mean? So it's like I didn't have a number one cigar, but I have go tos that. I really like so, and that's one that I really like. And the price point on it is nine bucks, so I mean, yeah. you can't beat it. Like it's yeah. a budget cigar for real, right? But I mean, it smokes like one of the high dollar. I mean, it really yeah, smokes I mean, like a very high full flavor. Everything, yeah. yeah. Right, so on your notes, what are you getting from uh, it? So for like notes with me is like a lot of people say they get sweet, a sweet taste behind. It. I don't get that. It's it's a little earthy, leathery. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of a lot of pepper and other things in there that I can't quite put my hand on right. but yeah the first thing I get is a lot of leather out of it so I like this cigar a lot too I like it a lot I think it's I mean Macanoodle did a great job with that Inspirato line period because they have the black they got the red they got the white yeah yeah they did well with that name that, that, that line of um, their cigars Cigar, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Longest yeah, ass long contest. Ass longest ass contest, contest. Okay. we were able to do that. Shouts out to Prime 357, sponsoring that longest ass contest. Uh, cigar weekend, which we're gonna have some good stuff coming between two, but we'll get to that later. Uh, what you what's your cigar, uh, Austin? I had a hard time with this, but I remember talking to you guys and I wanted to do a black cigar and a, and a regular cigar. And actually it ended up being the black cigar was my main cigar. So okay. definition cigars, uh, out of Dallas, this is their uh, burgundy. Rockford Cigar, um, Ecuadorian wrapper. Uh, it's a Nicaraguan binder and filler. I love it. I went back and forth to this. I wish we had distribution here. There's no distribution anywhere within about a thousand miles. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. I mean, nah, Atlanta's the closest place to have distribution here. But okay. I get it as much as I possibly can. So I went, went, went back and forth. I, made, I bought stuff for other people. Like, hey, you need to try this. I love it. I love everything that we're doing right now. We probably have. I'll be 15 different cigars out, and so I just love everything they're doing. What's the price point on that one? $10. Oh, wow. So it's okay. really affordable. Yeah, it's okay. You know, okay. We, we both did budget it. <laughs> 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 you know, a lot of times we deal black owned brands, it's just small mm -hmm. little boutique brands. Their, their cost is usually a little higher just because it needs to be from a, from a volume standpoint. But the fact that they're doing this for $10 is great. And like, there's a I mean, I was introduced to it in Atlanta, and there's places there that can't keep it in stock. And I was like, okay, I need to figure this out. Because a lot of people didn't have any branding on it, but they have the, you know, the band. And they right. just go in, like, keep on looking at I'm like, okay, what's everybody working on these bands? And a lot of people, what they do is when they take it off, they put it in their finger as a joke. I'm like, mm, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to see if people with these. Hey. So, $10, what, what's your notes on that cigar? Oh, man, it's, it, 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 I get coffee in the morning, honestly, for me. So okay. It's, I get a lot, you know, you get a little oak sweetness, but then you get that real like cocoa kind of taste out of it, and then and, and it's just and it's real smooth. You get a little creaminess, but it's, it's just it's just a great everyday smoke. So probably you know, there's some other stuff in there, a little bit a little bit more flavoring. Then this is a full body smoke, but there's some stuff that just is it is, is a lot more robust. But this is just great. See, now the, so my notes change constantly depending on what I'm drinking. Mm -hmm. So it, they they sway, and I'm like. I pick up certain notes and I stand with those, but certain days I'm drinking something totally different. Yeah, hey, it's, 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 yeah it tastes totally different. So I get that. My cigar is found. I, so I was torn. I went back and forth because everybody know I have been smoking the hell out of Placentia cigars this year. Right. The Alma Fuerte, especially the Green Label, with that. Um, but. In the middle of 21, towards the end of 21, I discovered a cigar and I really liked it a lot. Um, and it's been one I've been going to. Um, Foundation Cigars, the Tabernacle. They did a uh, release of, they call it David and Goliath, with small perfectos. The Goliath is actually my favorite of those two. Um, the price point for the size of the cigar is a little high. It's a $15 cigar. Right. Um, but 
I mean, did, I mean, consistently been a great smoking cigar. And actually, I did a V cut on my Perfecto, and it's actually giving me a little bit more, um, picking up a different flavor profile on it, making it a little bit more stand out. This has got like a lot of leather, pepper, uh, like some mineral notes on it, and some cedar. Uh, full body smoke. This is a uh, Connecticut wrapper, uh, broadleaf wrapper. This is going to be Honduran and uh, what is it? Honduran and Nicaraguan fillers. And then the binder is going to be uh, um, San Andreas, Mexican San Andreas binder. So this cigar, like I said, 15 bucks is going to be about that. Um, I haven't seen it in many places. They did like a limited release with it. Um, like I said, I've seen it in a couple brick and mortars around here. And so, yeah, I mean, that's my cigar of the year. Like I said, it's just been been a great experience and I was like I said I was torn because I really enjoyed the Placentias I enjoyed them a lot but uh, you know this was just something that for me just delivered and so I, I really just settled on this yeah do it or black plus you say do absolutely <laughs> And get a great cigar at the price point. <laughs> so those are our cigars of the year. I ain't gonna hit you too bad in the pocket, but we promise you, you're gonna have a great smoking experience. Uh, honorable mentions, of course, is gonna be Placencia, Alma Fuerte for me. Uh, and uh, probably, yeah, probably uh, Macanudo Inspirado Blacks. So that's probably my honorable mention, my two for that. Like I said, there was a one name I was smoking a lot of because I really liked the flavor profile, but I just never could get one that's well constructed. Right. And it's, that's hard to say. So <laughs> honorable mention would probably be uh, Inch Maduro and uh, LFD. I've been across the board with LFD. So. I like LFD. Yeah. I think, I think for, for me, that is another brand the last couple of years. Got a lot of, but they got a lot of special stuff as well. It's like, okay, right, right. This is my favorite. Like, I had a Star and Stripes when they came out at a Jack Sports in Chicago. You know, they did uh, a lot of fun things. Great stuff. But, okay. And, okay. What are they do now? Right. right. Now, now, can I find it somewhere else? Mm -hmm. I mean, for me, I think it was my, the Byron 21st anniversary. I'll tell you guys off camera. Yeah. Loved it. $30, 38 to 40 dollars cigar. And then there is some limited stuff. I love the, the LCA stuff. I love the uh, Lady Killer yeah. Big Cigar. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. a I big cigar. Yeah, yeah. I, I loved um, Ezra Zion, a, a brand for me that I love. But they only do you know, they do batches of 500 cigars. So, hey, I'm screwed after a while. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they had the hypnotic cigar. I, I, I probably bought 30 of those. Like, I'm, look, I'm, I'm looking because I know there's a problem right now. Okay. How much am I willing to spend for it? See? So, I mean, the Queen Perspective was said. actually was one of my honorable mentions, but I mean, I'd be damned if I buy another cigar at <laughs> that price point. <laughs> but, but $130 smoke. $130 smoke. Yeah. But it was, you know what? And it sounds crazy, but it was a very, very good cigar. I enjoyed it. Would I pay for that again? It was my birthday and all that other stuff like that. I celebrated a big win. Um, I would do it, yeah, but it was worth it. It was worth it for me. So I mean, absolutely, it was worth it. I did it this year. I went, I went uh, in Big's in Big's mansion over in Chicago. And I'm like, we gotta oh, get over there. Well, you got, you yeah. Know, like, and he's like, oh yeah. I'm like, I, I looked at him. Like, I'm gonna do whatever. Like, oh, we got these over here. They're four hundred dollars. I'm like, actually, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you have lower? And he's like, oh, we got the, the, you know, the royal selection from Dallas. Like, hundred dollars. Yeah. I'm like. I'll go that route. How was we that cigar? That. Real quick on that too. How was that? Because I've seen you know I was very limited so, seen, but I made the mistake of leaving in my car. Like three days, got cold, such and such. Could have rehydrated. I didn't feel like doing that. So I decided to just make it a car smoke. It. Yeah. I, I enjoyed it, but the construction after a while because it just fell dried apart. out. It fell apart of me, but that was my fault. But the flavors I got out of it. I've never been a David so. I mean, it's, I think David does. It's like a hit miss for me. Really well. like, yeah, it's all, it's just like Zeno's for me. It's it's I mean, a hard. It, it's the same brand. I mean, yeah. yeah. But I mean, for me, like their Yamasa brand, really good. Their 
Chef shit edition stuff, really good. The like that stuff you can get all the time. It's cool. Getting pretty cheap. Whatever else. But some of these other stuff, I mean, Davidoff and Padron are kind of the same for me, where they have a lot of stuff that's, you know, held in high regard, can be expensive, whatnot, and can be good, but it misses Sometimes so much for me. I right. <laughs> said it misses yeah, yeah, for yeah. me so much those particular Especially ones. Especially at certain price points. Like, do I really want to spend 50 and bucks that, a day? And sometimes that's the struggle. And the same with bourbon in the sense where it's like... Oh, most definitely. Most where it's definitely. like, do I hate it? Do I really dislike it this much? Or do I dislike it at this price point? That's sometimes the thing. It's like, did you dislike it? Mm, it was good, but I wouldn't pay that for right, it. Right, exactly. Yeah. I, I get that. I perfect totally segue. Yeah, I perfect. <laughs> perfect segue. So let's get into these bottles, but like both of y'all bought high end bottles today. <laughs> I, well, I don't know about that, but nah, both of y'all bought high end bottles. Today. Okay, so full transparency on mine, I don't have all the bottles, but I had quite a few bottles I bought in 2021, um, and so I went through and did a whole blind on my stuff. And oddly enough. Some bourbons I thought were gonna like score high and be like the one because I called a bourbon of the year on the Remus Repeal Five and I loved it. Right. But I put it against some other stuff and then not that it's not good, it just didn't stand. So the Remus didn't things. pair well according to it, JD? It, it didn't. It didn't. No, but it, how did you do it? Did you, you blind it? You I blinded it. Yeah. Okay. I blinded it. I did. I'm absolutely blinded. Um, my wife poured up all the poured them other things up for me and went in she you knew what it was and I literally went in and started comparing notes it was some stuff that really scored high and performed well that I didn't think would against a lot of the things that I had um so I mean I'll just kick it off yeah so I don't know about no high-end thing Se high -end, secondary yeah. is probably there secondary but it's still a high-end yeah, I mean, bottle yeah exactly. Exactly. Jack Daniels their special release 21 which was the Koi Hill this is right at 139 uh, 140 and proof this is coming from their highest point, their highest rig house on Court Hill and Jack Daniels. So it's straight, it's just straight heat. Butter. Oddly enough, though, <laughs> and I think we've all had it. And I'm gonna say this, and you have to agree, y'all can agree with whatever. It doesn't drink as hot or as high as you think it is no, with the no, proof on it. It no, didn't. It no, didn't. No, it no. didn't. It, the I mean, proof isn't there when you drink it. It's really not. And but you after just, you had a couple of it, you know. I mean, you it, it, oh yeah. But also, yeah. You, we, we understand that proof also identifies. Flavor. Yeah. And if you if you if you're not into bourbon the same way, if you're not drinking the same way, yeah, you're gonna get it. You go, oh my god, this is hot. Right. But once you actually you know you know wet your palate and got to more, you experience it a little different. Like, okay, I really enjoy this. For me, I enjoyed it very much because I, like I saw the blinds. I mean, everything is there for for me. It's a very good bottle. Got plenty of complexity, a lot of flavor. Big flavors, but it does, like I said, to me, it just doesn't drink hot. It gives right. me a great experience. And it, it won. I, I mean, it beat out. Um, I had Midwinter's Night Drum, Act 9, Scene 4, and they finished in second behind it. And it was, I kept going back and forth between, but this was just where I ended up. Yeah, I was, was a there. little shocked when we came in. I, I expected to see Midwinter. Midwinter was and it was up the, there. The, so the you know what? It was up there. I, I drank it. It was up there. But I didn't open my bottle. So right. I've, I've been holding on to my bottle, but I don't know why. I opened but, all yeah, my he, shit. He, he <laughs> but it, it did. But I mean, I honestly read. enough, it was. I don't know. Nine number one, just in that that range of high west period, destroyed Act Eight. Um, I haven't had nine. I've had seven and eight, but I've not had nine. So yeah, nine is good. We gotta bring it. I bring some that. You got one, though. I have a nine. Yeah, okay, you ain't open yours yet. I have not. No. Okay, but that's where mine's came to, and I also because another like I'm just gonna hit say my honorable mentions was the midwinter and the angels Envy cast for twenty one was nah, really good. Yeah, that right. was fantastic. I mean, good, good, good. Like I said, the Jack Daniels, the Coy Hill just gave me like everything. And retail, it was 80 bucks. I mean, it was an 80 buck bottle. Right. Um, of course, the special releases, Jack Daniels, they do it once a year. This is their you'll fourth never, one they did. Find it at 80 bucks again. again. <laughs> yeah, the Harrison's, yeah. So this is the fourth one they've done. Um, I already seen the new one coming out, the 12 year. They got 12 years, so it'll be dropping. Okay. I hope it holds at the price. The label point. on that looks nice. The label looks really yeah. good. I hope it holds at the proof point. So, Jack right. Daniels, if y'all any out there, you know, hold it at that, keep it there. <laughs> but I don't know what's going to do that. But, but yeah, this was just. Um, and oddly enough, last year in 20, 
their special release, their uh, Cat Strength Ride was oh, fantastic. Oh, yeah. oh, Oh my God! So Jack, Jack Daniels, Daniels been bringing been the noise. Yeah, I was gonna say Jack Daniels <laughs> been bringing some heat. <laughs> they been bringing the noise, man. Jack Daniels with a great year. Most definitely, I would totally because agree the, with the, that. The Rebel Rock really can't. I mean, even though we oh, saw, we yeah. saw it yeah. in, in the twenty-one. I mean, our, our, in the twenty, a lot of people saw it in twenty-one, twenty-two. Yeah. So it was a lot of people. A lot of people this this year as well. So. Yeah. It was. It's good. The ten year, the ten year, the ten was really good. Really high with yeah. a lot of people, though. So. Yeah, I mean, ten I, is good. I saw it on the, uh, a bunch of top ten lists yeah. this year, so yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So that's your. That's the favorite that you own. But what was that? Was there anything that you, that you remember that you don't own? It was like, okay, I had this. This was really good. It, I mean, it don't have to be one. It can be two or three things. But I know it's hard to. You know, the old Forester 117 collection, the High Angel Share, and the Warehouse K. I don't own those. Those were absolutely amazing. Thank you for letting me sample those. Um, so those are those definitely that old Forester. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I'm trying to think what else. I ended up getting a hold of 17 Year Girl, so that was good. But, uh, I think that really the old Forester, those those old Forester 117 releases. I, I wish I really could get my hands on. Outside of no, I take that back. Now, that was those. But Randy let me try the 250-year Hennessy. Yeah, okay. And that tasted like Jesus pressed it out with his own feet. Yeah. And so, <laughs> that bottle is gone. <laughs> that was like a one-off. And to be able to taste that, that was a really, really, really good. It's a cognac. But I mean, man, but good I Lord. Mean, that I was mean, fantastic. That was. Most of us got into got in a lot of us got to cognac before we got Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. And most frankly, definitely. when you're smoking a cigar, there's three things, for me, there's only three things you can drink. Whiskey, rum, and cognac. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay, so for me is whiskey, scotch, or cognac. Well, yeah, but whiskey, I mean, whiskey yeah. is yeah. scotch. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. then, you know, you get, I, I like peaty scotches, though. Yeah, and then so y'all, you don't get a lot of peaty whiskeys. Now, every now and then, good to keep up. Right? But that's, it has to be like an extra day help for me. Like, those are sipping to like, yeah, okay, I can drink this, have it. It's gonna be a little See, that's what we need to do a tequila episode. We yeah. gotta do another one. We gotta do one really get into those anejos and stuff, though. So the extra age, extra though. age ones, yeah, yeah. not, not yeah, just yeah. the regular yeah. anejo. So okay. yeah, eighty bucks retail. Uh, secondary, I think they're going about five or six. I've seen them get to seven or eight. Mm -hmm. It I've just seen depends them as high on as a thousand right now. Yeah, so. yeah. So and this is the one I was fortunate to. Uh, Double up on so okay, okay. <laughs> I got you one. Up. I got one back in the closet. So, I, so that I, means I, this one's gonna fall at some point. So, <laughs> so honestly, the way we're going, we might as well do it as price points because this would be the next price point. Okay. And so I got? only went with the Jeff the Creed Bloody Bloody Butcher's Court Creed. So it was a. Uh, I can't say it's truly tasteful. Okay. But it has a weird taste for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's it's an anomaly for me. So it, it's like when I go to it, it never tastes the same. Right. Okay. So and it's just it's been like like I said, it's been weird. It's like alien for okay. me. So I'm just like. And shout out to Jeff the Creed, yeah. local brand, Indiana. We uh, you said we 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 uh, is no, Indiana? No, no it's Louisville. Louisville. It's Louisville. No, it's Louisville. Louisville. Here. Right no, uh, right no, it was here. No, no, it was here. So I'm wrong then. My bad. Louisiana. I'm sorry. Jeff the Creed is right there. No, I was just reading. About that, uh, is Jeff, yeah. the Creed, Jeff the Creed is right down. Is, is right right, you're right. You're right. I'm, it's, I'm it's, it's Shelby, 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 okay. Shelby, yeah. Shelby, so now I stand corrected, but that was like I know that was like a sleeper kind of uh, I don't know, it's the same city that uh, yeah. So, I mean, almost like a boutique brand, I guess. I apologize, so we apologize for that, but Cause I've been drinking, <laughs> <laughs> but that's you know, so Jeff the Creed, what's the price point on that one? This one was a hundred bucks. Okay, okay. hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Yeah. Is that one? Is that Actually, limited release? Is a or is it, is it was a limited release. Limited it's release. Okay. Age three years, eleven month rye, but it's a four grain proof, hundred and nineteen. So okay. I mean, it ain't no baby about the proof. So okay. right. And what, what I love about that, and what I love, I love about a lot of this stuff that's coming out really lately, is seeing stuff with different types of corn. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's ninety percent mm -hmm. bloody butcher's corn. corn. Butcher corn. Yeah. And so, so, so many other ones out there. That, okay, this is different. Yeah, yeah. So that, and that's why I said that I liked it only because every time I drank it, it tastes totally different. Some people like when we actually bought the bottle in, they were like, "Oh, it tastes like dirty dish rags," or 
you know, it, it just had a funky taste to it. But for me, it was pleasant. It, it had a little linger to it. No real heat, but I mean, it was it was nice. So when you when you drink, is it something you don't drink to drink, or you don't drink that with a cigar? I drink it. I, I drink it to drink though. So uh, half the time I've actually drank it, I've not been smoking because I can't smoke in the house. Right. You know what I mean? So it's just like I revisit the bottle only because it's there and I know I can drink. I can go out on my patio and chill for a minute and whatnot, yeah. not be bothered, and not have a cigar, and I'm still gonna be cool. Right. Right. So you got Jack Daniels, Jeff the Creed. Right, now we got this. Uh, then we got, the, one biggest one. The, biggest got the biggest bottle on the table bottle. right now. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie, this is one. Uh, if you know anything about this bourbon game, man, I mean, if you know anything no, about on. it, it's you know my what? I wanted to get my honorable mention. Oh, that's good. Say good. What's your honorable yeah, mention? Yeah. I miss because the ones honestly, you don't have. Say good. The ones I don't have was that blue pop. Yep. Okay. That was definitely a great bottle for me. I mean, definitely. And then the one sweat bought the old Ezra Master Blend. Yeah. Oh, that was a beautiful bottle, and that's like a thirty-five, forty dollar bottle. I think retail, just depending on what it was, they did the distiller selects with those. Yeah, they right. did that Ezra, was man, I, I love Rebel. They all did one, drink out of that. and those so, were really yeah. good. Yeah, we crushed a few bottles of those <laughs> this year. So, yeah, we was crushing them. So, so if right. you can find them, drink them. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. And oh, oh Ezra got some cool stuff out. I, I just picked up two store pictures of that I really enjoy. I picked them up Saturday, so. Oh really? Yeah, okay. So one is, yeah, uh, we got one, one's called <laughs> Birthday Boy, and another one's called Smoking Stogie. So I'm. We definitely and, gonna and, make and it out to your spot. I mean, really, so. the Smoking Stogie was really just because the, the guy who picked it, they they were smoking cigars, and then they decided to pick it because that was their whole thing. Like, hey, too many people don't there. We have I mean, there's a bunch of cigar blends out there. The Del Shimagnum. Yeah, the, the, uh, which is like the, my the Good uh, Times, the Starlight, whatnot, and like. Actually, I, had a, I had a hard time making, making my decision thinking about the thing about cigar blends because that's my. You know, I love yeah, cigar blends are just oh. You know, Starlight <laughs> cigar blend was on a lot of people's top ten. I've been hearing about that and I wish oh, I could get yeah, my I'm hands on one. It's done fan, so though. well though. But, that was done fantastic. I bought mine in 2021. <laughs> But it did not arrive till 2022. So okay. Make, it, it, I, 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 Good I, okay. 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 It ain't on here. I had a hard time picking because my number one taste, I don't. The A. Smith Bowman pick. You know, the things that came out, special, special release from Bowman Brothers, Sazerac. I thought that was the best thing I, I, I drank by far. I've had two samples of it. It, nothing changed. It was like, oh my God, this is good. It's another hazmat bottle. I think it comes with 142 proof. I was like, this is freaking amazing. But we like I don't the proofs. Own it. I don't own it. Okay. I try. I try to purchase it. The bottles I found, I'm not willing to. Pay, I'm not really spend for. And the trays, it just has, it hasn't happened. It's gonna. It's gonna happen. It will be on part of my collection this year. I guarantee that. Okay. But. This was my number one. So, King Kentucky, it's a $250 bottle at, at release. I did not pay $250 for it. I didn't pay anywhere near $250. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all, also, y'all, y'all gonna give them the number you paid pay for. I paid $800 for it. But at the same time, it's a bottle that, you know, is going to resell for $2,000 and sometimes higher. So, I'm not really And this is uh, Louisville only? So, it's Brown Typically Foreman. Brown, it's Brown, Brown okay. Foreman. Um, Released in September every year. Um, for, fourteen year, for fourteen year age. Um, I did not intend to open mine anytime soon. I was going to get special occasions, such and such. Like we're going to do our, the top of the year. I'm like, okay, well let's do it. So I opened mine right before we started. So yeah. feel free, you know, to, to try. Oh, we were, it. Oh, we were, 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 we Gosh, like how you felt about that? Yeah, yeah. If G, if Jesus did with it, with his, <laughs> he pressed his own feet. He did it with his hands. He did it with his hands on knees. Cause, man, like, bro, like, this is the water to wine. Right? Now, did the, now this this particular for twenty one? It didn't yield a lot, did it? A lot of barrels no, so did it. Or said the yield was so okay. You're getting 85, 90, 90 bottles per barrel. So uh, and so that's, that, that's, that pushes the price yeah. up uh, tremendously. Right. So. So I believe I got barrel 18. Um, was, you know, was put in December 6th of 2006. So. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, but I mean, it, it just, 
So with that being said, I'm going to knock this and get the taste. Yeah, please, please. So this is our stuff of the year. You got our honorable mentions. Um, want to give a big shout out as always, Community Spirits. Thank you, Charles, and everybody what you do for us over there. We were able to procure a lot of things through his show. And then, again, we always talk about that throughout the year. Make sure you support your local stores, uh, your local brands. Um, build relationships, show up, say hi, while that other good stuff like that. Buffalo Trace still, pick, still, still out there? Is it I, out I, think it's, I think it's a little scarce. It, it, I think yeah, it's about it's gone. About <laughs> gone. <laughs> I think it's about it, gone. It, 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 haven't got but, it. Hey, <laughs> if you realize it, Elijah Craig is coming. It's a smoke cast and barrel. Yes, it is. On it, so yes, it make is. Make sure you go pick this bottle up. So, yeah, that's we, coming. We, 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 maybe a couple weeks away. Yeah, maybe a couple weeks, weeks away. A couple weeks uh, away. The Elijah Craig private barrel, barrel proof pick that we got to pick. Uh, with him and his team we did the buffalo trace that really went well agent selection shouts out to ad uh that buffalo trace was like i said i think i don't think there's much left if any I had to find out i got my bottles so <laughs> so that means we got the and so the logic craig private barrel barrel proof is coming um and then shouts out again to our bro prime 357 cigars uh, who is now featured at the Cosmo Night Social Club. Come on in, see the humidor, spend a little time with us. And uh, I promise you, you will enjoy your selection. Uh, he's got some good stuff up there, uh, doing a great job with what he's got going on. So, I mean, I don't know, ain't nothing else to talk about this. Uh, uh, we go, uh, go ahead. I was able to get my hands on a, a smoke wagon uncut unfiltered. Okay. I got to get that this you year. Know, it was a 21. I bought it in 22 so though. Yeah. Batch, so, I mean, it's a batch. It's uh, I think it was batch 18. They did for 21. I think it was okay, batch 18. I need to bring my bottle down too. So we can actually... Yeah, because they. I mean, and it came out in the clear glass because they ran out of the amber glass because of everything right now in the in pandemic and all that stuff. But I was able to get my hands on one. They're back on the amber glass and they said they got it back on. So, but that was one out of Las Vegas. I wanted to be able to get that, but uh, I, I finally got my hands on that. So it was a 21, you know, thing, but I got it in 22. So I was able to get one of those. Okay. Big fan of that, that that juice. So I think that's, have I got anything else? No, I haven't got anything else right now. I have to slow down, man. I've been going bourbon crazy. <laughs> I really haven't been on the hunt for anything. My brother gave me a Rock Hill Farms for Christmas. So I, he knows I've been searching for him forever right. in a day. So. That was my biggest win so far. Okay, I picked up a few things. I mean, What'd you have picked up? Y'all know I'm a, I'm a mass consumer. Yeah, consumer, yeah, so. we, we definitely know. I, mean, I got know. that Weller Single Barrel. I got the, um, so I got the, the Starlight Cigar Blend. It's got the Good Times Cigar Oh, that was a good one, too. Weller Single Barrel. Really I forgot the Weller Single Barrel. Um, I'm really looking for well, Old Carter. is has got a batch in there. Uh, American Batch 7 and 8. And I'm looking for both of those. Okay. They posted that last week. You are an old Carter fan. I right? am an old Carter fan. I'm looking for the Joseph Magnus cigar. I'm looking for, uh, I forgot the name of it, um, that, their, uh, their badge they just released. Nancy Fraley, who did comment and share some information on one of our videos. You got to go back and watch that. Um, I'm looking for a Joseph Magnus cigar blend. I told you, if there was any bourbon I had to live with in the world, that'd be the one. Yeah, I'm a big fanatic nice. of that. But but I, I like married, cigar blend bourbons. Yeah. Like we Austin said earlier, I like, I like a big fan. Magnus, yeah. So, right. I get that. Yeah. I definitely get that. So. Yeah, yeah. For me, like I said, I like cigar blends, and there's a lot of rum cigar blends out there. I haven't had many of them. I've got to try more of those. I got a chance to. I think See, we yeah, tasted one. You're not really a rum fan yet. I, I think, and I, I, like I said, I got to explore and build my palate on that more because, like I said, I just, I'm not big on the sweet and the syrup thing of it. So, I, and I'm not saying so all of them like that. This, Are you a grandma yet then? I am. He turned, Randy turned me into well, one that King Mom Alexander, yeah. the King Alexander they did for uh, this 21, we did, had a chance to get that, we did an event with them, and uh, it, it's, it's good. So, it's but good. I've got several other bottles that's right. at home, the 1883 and some other stuff that, you know, so, some high dollar well, bottles like, that so need Bacardi to be tasted. right now is marketing, is it four bottles right now that are out that are, that are actually marketed towards the bourbon drinkers. Oh, really? Oh, really? I bought one in here for you guys. I can't remember the name of it. Forty dollar bottle. Uh, they have, there's a, it's a red label for Bacardi. It is actually aged in bourbon barrel. It is really good. Probably See, thirty eight dollar bottle. That could be another episode. That so yeah, could be there's, a there's some cool. There's some definitely some cool stuff out there. Like 
like even like the like, well, we, we, everybody sees the Havana Club and stuff that it's that's yeah. really cheaper. But they have a right. their, their uh, seven year Anejo is out and, and it's actually uh, an international thing. It's like it's like here right here you don't even find across country. But see, I say the same that thing right there, with like with eighteen hundreds and stuff like that. Everybody knows the regular eighteen hundreds, but they don't know they have an upper echelon. That where the bottle. That's why I've been on here lately. Honestly, I've been, you know, of course I do my bourbons and my scotches. I was, I fell in love with Scotch whiskey first. Mm -hmm. But um, I've been on my tequilas here lately. I mean, I found some really, really, really good sipping tequilas. And I got. I've been into deep. (laughs) Yeah, I've been in deep into my sipping tequilas. I mean, mean, Maestro Double Fiftieth was a good one. Um, And I like the Cinco Nejo. But the Code of Gold has the extra the age in there. So I've got a brand new fantastic. bottle at home that ain't never been yeah, taken. Casa Dragons, I may be messing the name of a Casa Dragons has an Anejo and extra age one that is fantastic as well. You've been telling me about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get into it. We gotta get into that. Grand Centenario, Leander. Leander is it was really good. Really good. Like, yeah, really, really good. Yeah. I was in Right. I mean, if I'm gonna spend eight dollars personally, I'm gonna go to bourbon more, more, more often. Than exactly. Not. Yeah. But I will spend on a good tequila. I will on a tequila. I will in a heartbeat. Probably been spending more money on tequila here lately than I have anything else. So I don't know. No, I mean, it's good. for me, the great thing about tequila isn't just the fact that it's good, but also I know more people who are gonna enjoy it. Who don't like, I got a friend who never smoked. Who never yeah. Have yeah true. Those, those drinks are tequila, and I'm like, okay, we can try this, we can try this together. So. Yeah. That being said, this is what our picks are for the year. We gave you some honorable mentions. Hopefully, yeah, you got a lot of information. We've been rambling for a minute, so. <laughs> <laughs> We've been rambling for a minute. But, I mean, we can really talk about this all night. Like I said, we don't come as no experts. We come as enthusiasts who really enjoy this lifestyle, this hobby. And, uh, and you see we mess up here and Yeah, there, we mess so. up here for and sure. there. And, but, you know, we enjoy it. So, remember... We love the moments, but it's always about the journey. Get out and explore. Make sure you take in some good. good come spirits. to Cosmo. Come to Cosmo, see nice, me. and come see us. See me. I got discounts for you. Come see? in and ask for me. Randy done put it out there. I see Craig had done slid in. Yeah. <laughs> so that means. Most definitely. Most definitely. It really no is. I mean, yeah. I mean, y'all gotta come down here and see what's on the shelves and what we put. I'm trying to tell you. Especially you young folks, please. Come, come, come down here. Like, yeah. Especially young black people, like we want pl- a place that's for us. That place. Most that place for us. Look, right or blank, they don't want us here. Come, come here. So, Most Most that being said, shouts out to Community Spirits. Shouts out to Prime Three Five Seven. This has been another one. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll catch up with you in the next one. We got some good stuff we're going to release and talk to you about. Holla. We're great to hear and get drunk. <laughs>